Alrighty guys, so when you first walk into my bedroom, this is what you see. Everest, of course, has to be in the shot. And I did hang a shirt over my mirror so that way you guys couldn't see the other side of the room. Because that's where my wife's stuff sits and she's messy. So we're going to hide that. So here I have my desk. I have one of my filming lights. I have my ring light up for extra light. I have my Alex drawers and I'll go through all the drawers and everything. I'm not going to get too in-depth with every drawer. But if you guys want to see that, then let me know down in the comment section below and I'll film more of an in-depth makeup collection with you guys. So to start off, that tote is where I keep all of my backdrops. My tripod's just on top. I'm just holding the camera for this. And then I have my chair. You guys all know the chair. With clothes that aren't dirty but aren't clean, they get the chair. Which I did. It's just a rolly chair from Walmart. Moving on to the actual desk, I have my light, or my light, Jesus. I have my mirror here from Walmart, it's just a regular mirror. Um, I have, can you guys see that? I have this little spinning thing. This is actually a letter holder that I found at Marshalls. And I just use it for like palettes and lip liners and then my self tanner back there but here I keep my most everyday palettes my beauty killer modern renaissance and my shade and light eye and metamorphosis palette from Kat Von D these are my most used palettes um, I keep all of my lip liners in this part which I guess letters are supposed to go in but these are all of my NYX lip liners and then these are all Color Pop, Wet n Wild, Rimmel, things like that. And then my lippy sticks, which I don't have too many of because I don't really like them. But yeah, I found that. But yeah, I found that at Marshall's. Uh, behind it is just where I keep all of my earrings, my hand mirror, and then some pictures. Moving over here, I have this, which I used to keep all my brushes in. This is also from Marshall's. And this is actually a kitchen utensil organizer or holder or something. But I use it for my brushes and I just put sand in it. And this is where I keep all of my Morphe brushes. Um, got some e.l.f. brushes. Wet n Wild. Uh, Real Techniques. Things like that. Um, but Morphe are my favorite. Here, this is empty. Just because I ran out of my cotton rounds. This is normally where I keep all of my cotton rounds. I got this off of Amazon. And I will link it down in the description box for you guys. I just find it's easier and more efficient if they're just sitting right there and I can get to them. Over here is my foundations. I, I don't have that many simply because I don't want to get a lot, a lot of them and then them expire and I not get to use them as much as I would like. So over here, we've got just a moussey one, powder, rimmel, um, L'Oreal, Milani. Back here, I've got Maybelline and CoverGirl. I have my Maybelline Fit Me's, my L'Oreal. This is the infallible total cover. I have an almost empty Smashbox concealer that I leave flipped upside down so I can get all of the product out of it. I have my Wet n Wild foundations, my L'Oreal Pro Glows back there. Over here I have my Too Faced Makeup Forever and Kat Von D. So yeah, those are my foundations. Moving over here, you guys can't see this box. That is my giveaway box that I'll give you guys a sneak peek of. Mm -hmm. But back to over here. Um, I have this sitting here because it's filled with makeup that I got rid of um, out of my collection that I'm just going to give to my little sister because she's getting started in makeup and she doesn't have anything so I thought I would give her um, a bunch of makeup that I don't use anymore or that I just didn't like or whatever. So here um, is where I keep in this little container all of my setting sprays. I have a lot of Urban Decay ones, um, Milani, LA Girl, um, Elf, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, you know. 
And then this little jar I got from the dollar store, I think. And I just use it to keep all of my beauty, my clean beauty blenders in. And my other sponges. And then this I got off of Amazon as well. Again, I will link it down below. Um, all of the things that I use to keep all of my makeup in, if I bought them online, I will leave the links down below so you guys can purchase them as well if you would like. And we're just going to go through this pretty quickly. Down here, I have a lot of my Wet n Wild lipsticks that I don't really use anymore. Um, in here, I have all of my e.l.f. lippy sticks, a couple e.l.f. Um, NYX, Makeup Revolution. In this one, I keep all of my Hard Candy and Revlon liquid lips. I keep the Hard Candy packaging because I just think it's super cute. In here, I have my L'Oreal Infallible Paints, um, Buxom, Milani, Maybelline, Wet n Wild, and my NYX Lingerie. In this one, I have all of my ColourPop ones here. Um, my Anastasia, Stila, Too Faced, Gerard Cosmetics, Tarte, and Kat Von D in the back. If you guys can tell, there's like a pattern to all of my liquid lips. Moving on, this is where I keep all of my face brushes. This container I as well got from Marshalls. This is actually a makeup brush container. And then over here, I just keep like the, my makeup bags, um, this is my ring light bag, my um, umbrella light bag. I keep these for when I'm traveling. I find it's best that they just go in there, opposed to, like, putting them in a suitcase or something. I don't know. But that's where I keep them, just so I have easy access to them. I have a couple extra clear organizers down there. Nothing too fun. On top of my Alex drawers, I have a lot, you guys. Um... So I keep my lash container here, even though I don't think it has any lashes in it. No, I put them all away. Um, but yeah, I just use this for like end of the day. I don't feel like pulling out where the lashes actually go. I'll just pop them in there. This I keep all of my dirty uh, face brushes and beauty blenders in that need to be washed. <laughs> This little container I got um, also from Marshalls. Okay, so up here I keep my favorite self-tanner of life there. I keep um, my favorite perfume there. Um, this I little organizer thing I also got from Marshalls. It's missing the little rhinestone that sits right there, and I didn't realize it af until after I bought it. But in this one, I just keep some extra palettes. So I have my Tarte palette. And my Makeup Geek Shadow palette in there. I have my Color Switch and my Japanese Makeup Brush Cleanser. In the top one, I have my smaller sized palettes. So Wet n Wild, Color Pop, um, Urban Decay, uh, Sephora, NYX, and Milani. These are just where it's just where I store my smaller palettes. Um, up here in this little purple letter organizer, I keep my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette, which I really like, but I don't use it in tutorials because it's not available anymore. And then behind it, I just have three Morphe palettes. I have the 35N, the 35W, and then my self-made palette. And over here is where I keep all of my perfume samples. I absolutely love perfume samples and then I keep more of my like regular favorite lipsticks over here so I have my Maybelline ones I have Milani which I absolutely love Gerard Cosmetics is one of my all-time favorites I've got what's this L'Oreal got Smashbox back here um, I've got the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquids which I weren't I wasn't really crazy about and then I've got some L'Oreal lip glosses back there okay so that is the top oh and then this thing I got both of these from Marshalls as well as this and this I just keep like mail and bills and stuff in there 
but I keep it up there because it looks pretty. And that is everything on top of my Alex drawers. Now let's get into the fun stuff and let's get inside the drawers. Okay, so I try to keep it for the most part in order of how I put my makeup on. Some things are out of order though, so don't judge me. So in the first one, this is where I keep all of my primers, um, eyeshadow concealers or eyeshadow primers, concealers, brow products, and color correctors. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion ones. I have the contour one in there, but I just keep it in there. So I keep my primers in here, my Smashbox, Benefit, um, CoverGirl, Maybelline, NYX, uh, Soap and Glory, Baby Skin, Hard Candy, you know. Um, I keep my eyeshadow primers here. The majority of them you guys have seen because I use roundabouts, the same ones in all of my videos. This is where I keep all of my concealers. So, Smashbox, Kat Von D, Tarte, Urban Decay, Maybelline, uh, NYX. I have a lot of different concealers that I really love. Concealers are like my second favorite thing to collect, even if they're in the wrong shade. Um, over here, I keep my brow products. I have Benefit, Anastasia, uh, It Cosmetics, ColourPop, LA Girl, Wet n Wild, and then my pomades or gels, or whatever you want to call them. It's the first drawer. Second drawer is blush, bronzers, powders, um, contour palettes, fun stuff like that. So over here is just where I keep all of my blushes. I don't have, like, a shit ton. I'm not a big blush fan. Um, this is where I keep my bronzers, Hoola, Too Faced, Physician's Formula, fun stuff like that. Um, I keep my powders here, so Laura Mercier, It Cosmetics, LA Girl, Maybelline, Elf, Cody Airspun, which I do not like because it is way too perfumey. Um, I just keep my Maybelline contour one there, my Wet n Wild contour one, and then my Too Faced Cocoa contour back there. This third one, I keep all of my mascaras, my black eyeliners, and then my colored and glitter liners. So in this part, I keep mascaras I like and actually use. In this little section is mascaras that I don't like, but I keep for like review videos and stuff like that. So we've got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, the L'Oreal Voluminous, what is this? Voluminous Million Lashes, I don't like that one. Just lashes or lashes. Just mascaras that didn't work for me. And then over here I keep like my sharpener, um, my lip balm, tweezers, no clippers, I don't know why. Um, here is where I keep all of my black liners, whether they're liquid, pencil, um, felt tip, pen, doesn't matter. I keep them all here. So. And then my gel pot. Um, in this one, it has, like I said, all of my colored liners. And all of my glitter liners. So, NYX is one of my favorites for liners in general. In this drawer, this is my favorite, favorite drawer. This is my lash drawer. Um, I have it set up differently than a lot of people, mainly because I prefer to have like. It's set up like this. I can just like pull it out opposed to like stacked on top of each other. Um, and so I have a lot of cocoa lashes and I write all of the names on the cocoa lashes here so I can just see them and pull it out. Um, I have Huda Beauty Dodo lashes, a lot of Violet Voss, and then some Luxie Beauty lashes. In here is where I keep all of my drugstore lashes. So Ardell, Kiss, Ilore, um, more Cara lashes. And then over here is where I keep all of my lash glue. I prefer brush on lash glue to like the tubes just because, I don't know, it works better for me. 
in this drawer is where I keep my single shadows. So these are all from ColourPop. These are the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop collab, which I absolutely love. Every single one of these colors, you guys, absolutely love it. Um, I just decluttered my highlighters and gave a lot of them to my little sister. So these are the ones that I did wind up keeping, and they're not just high-end. There are drugstore in here. Okay, coming down, and I did sit on the floor, to the biggest drawer, or the first biggest drawer. It's where I keep my makeup removers. So I have all of my micellar waters. I have all of the Garnier ones, and then I have the L'Oreal one. I have some extra makeup removing wipes. Um, I have the Urban Decay Melt Off Spray, my e.l.f. Um, gel Melt Cleanser, my Wet n Wild. Back here in this little basket, I keep my moisturizers, toner, lotions, and face creams. This one's a eye cream. And then this last drawer is where I keep all of my extra makeup brushes. All of my empties that I have to do reviews on. Um, I have a BH Cosmetics brush set in there. I have cosmetic wedges I don't use. My Sigma brush mat, the one you use to clean your brushes. And then this silly little one from Wish that I got. You stick your fingers in it. I don't know. That looks... I don't know if I'm the only one where my mind goes into a completely different direction with this one, but yeah, that's... But yeah, so that is my makeup collection and organization. Like I said, I will leave all of the products or the organizers that I bought online down in the description box so you guys can check them out if you want them. And yeah, if you guys want to see like a more in-depth where I like go through every single product in every single drawer, let me know. I know a lot of people don't like that, but if that's something that you like, let me know and I will film that for you guys. So if you like this video, if you guys like makeup collection videos and whatnot, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know, will know what's in there and maybe win what's in there. It's not full. I'm not done with stuff for the giveaway, but there's a lot in there already. Make sure you're subscribed. And until my next video, I will see you guys later. Bye.